That's funny, that's the second time I see a youth go by and they got a boombox playing music while they're biking. You know what, that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta get for my bikes, you know? Because you obviously, you can't, you can't be one of these fucking morons, you know, you're wearing fucking uh, uh, these earbuds and you're playing music, you can't hear fuck all else and bike, I mean, jeez, talk about a suicide mission, especially in this goddamn city. People barely make a fucking stop or even slow down anymore to stop signs, so. But that's a pretty good idea, maybe I should do something like that, like my friend Joe, he's got one of those little uh, boombox, all MP MP3s, it just looks like a speaker, you know? Anyway, so uh, here we are in my hood here on a Saturday evening and the winds have lightened up. It's a crummy looking evening though. Uh, got a fucking school here that's, uh, or nunnery or orphanage or whatever it was, that's uh, probably gonna unfortunately make way for a condominium. I'm sure they're not gonna make a park out of it. Mwah. As I always say, say so cute, so it is what it is. Well, that vintage bike looks as out of place as this old, as this modern building. It looks as out of place as all the other buildings around here. I just started filming this. This is really spurred a moment as I usually do. We are at La Rue Adam, as the French like to say, Adam Street. And Desjardins, like the bank Desjardins. Look at that, two one ways. You don't see that too often. La Rue Adam. And this fantastic church over here. Getting under renovation. Hmm. Built at a time when it seemed like money was no object for religion, eh? Religion had carte blanche, carte blanche. You know? Of course, you can't help think about how many priests what they did to those kids and oh, geez, you know, it's just that's that's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons why religion has made such a demise is all this bullshit with the uh, whole. Uh, uh, you know, Catholic religion specifically. And churches and monasteries. That's the word I was looking for, monasteries. Oh shit, the wind is coming towards me though. Crap. That's not good. Damn it. I thought the winds were light. I thought the wind was coming from the south. I'm walking north. What the fuck? Damn you, Environment Canada. Why can't you be more precise? Hey, what's that car? Ah, uh, that's what I thought. It's a typical old Toyota Corolla from the uh, from the 90s. Exactly like my grandfather, Mervyn McFall, had. Imagine, the guy had a fucking 77 Mercury Cougar he bought brand new with my uh, grandmother back in the day with Radio Delete. Big brown mother with a 351 Windsor. And he had it for 20 years and he went to, went to this. <laughs> Go figure. They're both great cars, though. I mean, especially these. These and the Tercels. Fucking Camrys are just... You see more of these in these Tercels in this neighborhood than any Camry there is. They're just, like, you know, indestructible. Oh, look at that. How weird that is. Look at that little, uh... What is that? Dipinner? That's strange. Yeah, it looks like a Dipinner, right? Eh? No? I don't know what that is. Résolidaire. I don't know. This looks like an old folks residence here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that street over there. That's uh, Boulevard Pi 9. Oh, I hear scrap coming. There it is. Stay with me now. Scrap. I know you guys get, a lot of you guys get a kick out of me saying that, you know, and uh, it's all well and good, but I'll tell you something right on, right off, right off the bat there. When I gotta take more than one of those in a day, it's not fucking pleasant. They're absolute fucking garbage. I mean, seriously, the seats are a fucking joke. Your, your ass starts to hurt after 15 minutes. And there's no suspension. And among other things. You know? Yeah, that's the way it is, man. STM, like so many other companies, they're too busy pissing away our money as taxpayers on bullshit, stupid fucking advertising. You know, or as they would say in French, sensibilisation. Some of it, of course, is just bearing, but most of it is just... Shouldn't even be a marketing department, personally. You know. Then they're gonna say, well, you know, we have to offset the cost of of the, the, the Azure Metro cars. You know? Anything interesting down here? Nope, just a bunch of fucking boring, colorless cars. Pete's sake. Boring. 
boring colorless cars. And that's one of the reasons why I, I filmed these walks. It's not just the old buildings and different designs and, you know, just finding the old stuff. The old cars also specifically, like, like, like for example, look, that old fucking, uh, what is that? Is that a Cutlass? Uh, yeah, good old Cutlass Supreme, 1990s. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, back when a car, cars had color. What the fuck is the story with this fucking building? It looks as if they demolished the whole thing except this entrance. Very odd indeed. Hmm. Demand d'usage conditionnel. Request for conditional usage. Oh, anyway, it's just going on and on, blah, blah, blah. You see, it's funny, I was talking about searching for that old steel, even the cars from the 90s, because, you know, I grew up then. Whoa, that's strange. And uh, they were, uh, like I said, more colorful and uh, interesting than most of the cars today. And here's the perfect example. Great car from the 90s. The last true great Oldsmobile, in my opinion, was these Cutlass Supremes from the 90s. This one looking to be a 90... Oh, I would say... Uh, yeah, about a 92, 94, 93, 95, 96. With some tape on that mirror there. <laughs> Fucking clean though, good shape. Great cars, a true GM. Before GM started going down the fucking toilet. Unfortunately, with their head gasket problems and oh my god. Hey listen, you're off, better off with this than probably any Cadillac made in the 2000s. I'm serious. Look at this fucking bike path they made. Holy shit, man. This is becoming like the plateau. What's that street in the plateau I've seen that's like this? I think it's uh, Clark. I don't know. Temperature is about 7 degrees Celsius, and I see another modern building that really is sticking out like a sore thumb around here. Hmm. I also went out too this evening because I've been home all day and uh, I was recuperating from yesterday. I walked way too much. I was out in Longueuil. Saints by the Saint Law by the. You know, near Tashra Ways and Tiffin Street and Saint George and Victoria and and uh, comment ça s'appelle? Comment ça s'appelle? God, I forgot the name of that street. Uh, William Laurier, Alfred Laurier. Oh, I can't remember. Look at this whole building. Look at that. Looks like it was all redone. I've seen a couple of buildings that kind of look like that on uh, Joliet. Not on the cheap. Well done. Bravo. Look at this, the fucking alley with a name. They have alleys with names here. I, I think sometimes it's because they need to find perpetrators, you know? <laughs> so they know, hey, uh, si, y'a un gars là, uh, on cherche là, le gars là. Et dans quelle allée? Je sais pas, c'est celui qui a le mur rouge, Carlis. You know? <laughs> hey, look at that beetle, man. That's fucking sharp. Check that out. Hey? Is that a stray dog? Hey, buddy. What are you doing, buddy? Is that a Doberman? I had a friend who had a Doberman once. Man, that Beetle is really neat. I think I've seen this car before. Look at the color is amazing. I, mean, I think I've seen this car before. They got that old school wheels like back in the 60s. It's neat. You know, you could do a lot worse than that, man. Really. So now we are at uh, La Rue Ontario, Ontario Street. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure if a lot of separatists had their way, they would change this fucking name of the street. That's for goddamn sure. And uh, this is an old industrial building over here. And uh, this actually houses also the uh, Village des Valeurs, or as it's known in the States, Savers, which I go to often. Ooh, beautiful color. Look at that. Speaking of beautiful blue color, is that a nice uh, Silverado or whatever? Thank you, sir. I like how people stop. I just stopped to let him go by and he lets me go by. Anyway, this is a great store. I buy a lot of shit here, you know. Almost looks like it's open. All the fucking lights are on. It's must be doing some work in there or something. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, warmer temperatures and the uh, grass starting to grow. And oh, those people are there at their beetle. I like your car there. J'aime ton char là. Used to be a window here. Ah, I guess I'll go another block. I got fully charged batteries. The weather is cooperating. And frankly, uh, I've been feeling kind of down half the day today. I was feeling depressed, and uh, for me to do this sometimes, it's not just it, it's not just fun for you and for me, but it's medicinal for me. It, I'm gonna have Volkswagen, 
Volkswagen. Volkswagen has fucking come back, hey, it seems. Or is it just because I live here in Montreal and there's so many foreign cars? Yeah. And a PT Cruiser. Yeah. Tragedy. When you want some hash and you got no cash, it's tragedy. Do I want hash? No, no. Do I feel like getting high? Not a little bit, but I won't. You know why? Because then I have to buy a fucking weed and I have to find it and I have to buy it and then I have it and I'm going to start end up doing like I used to do and smoke it all the fucking time with no control. I'm that type of guy, man. All or nothing. All or nothing. I'm the backwards walking man, the backwards walking man. And there's a lot of crap on the fucking sidewalk and the streets because it's printemps. And printemps is a French for spring, which it sort of feels like and sort of doesn't, you know. Lots of old industrial buildings around here. Look at those windows. It's pretty cool, actually. Ah, typical. Oh, charger. Typical of a lot of old industrial buildings around here in different parts of the city that have been redone into a, a condos and apartments. And that's cool. That's all about repurposing, you know. I mean, all that shit could have been knocked down. But the thing is that, you know, when I talk about knocking down a building, you're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars to do this. There's a nice-looking Audi A8 over there. That's not a common car, actually. I heard one coming the other day. I was like, whoa, daddy. I thought it was a Mustang or Camaro coming, you know? Look at all these fucking high rollers over here, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Videotron over here. I've been a client with them for, uh, what, a couple of years now, I guess? I must say, they do provide good service. A little bit pissed, though. They're raising up my rates, though. Hey, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? That's a Honda? Really? Honda from Ontario. What is this pickup called again? I never... The, the, old, the old one they made that was fucking ugly. This one's better, but... Eh, identity. Lacks identity. <clears throat> ah, the Jeep. Now, there's a vehicle that has consistently held its identity as what it is more than any other fucking vehicle today. Seriously, I mean, I could put BMW up there. But seriously, the Jeep is number fucking one throughout the world. I even read in a comment from one of my subscribers, actually, that uh, matter of fact, in Europe, when they're sold in Europe, the engines are made by Mercedes. Those turbo weasels, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this, you know. I hope you are, too. Bringing this to you, uh, not live. <laughs> Low-cost housing here. I wonder how much one of these fucking places goes for, eh? Well, one thing that's got more than me, I'm sure, is a stable, uh, stable, not stable, but uh, leveled floors. So. Oh, crap. I gotta take a whiz now. Shoot. Where am I gonna go? Oh, look at that. Videotron's got those big GMC top kicks. Well, I don't think they are called top kicks, but. Yeah, I like that. Unlike those shitty fucking uh, sprinters they bought to replace all the Econolines. That I really hate. That sucks. That's what I'm talking about. That's the way it should be with every fucking company. Especially companies that have fleets of trucks. It should be fucking bought in North America, made in Canada, made in the United States, even made in Mexico. Not fucking Toyotas and all that. I know they're better vehicles. I know they're more reliable. But those sprinters, by the way, and those transits... You know, like, okay, they're fucking cheap, but the fact of the matter is, is how long are they going to last? The Econoline, in its current uh, generation, has been made since 1992. They fucking perfected those things, man. Why do you think they're still ordering those for ambulances? All over the place. Anyway. Videotron. Sometimes I think about that name, how funny it is, how it's, it's, a, it's a name that uh, I, don't know, I find kind of funny because it's so 80s because that company was founded in the early 80s when, when uh, uh, you know, TV cable came out in the early 80s. You know, back in the days when MTV came out. And uh, what are we at now? Dudu, I think? La Fontaine? I don't even fucking remember any of this. This is all fucking new, man. 
you know? Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> look at me, I got a scooter with fucking lights. Anyway, that's it. I'm tired of holding the camera now. I want to put on my gloves. So uh, it's warm, but it's not that warm, you know? And uh, so I uh, hope you liked it. And uh, obviously, if you didn't like it, well, uh, you wouldn't watch the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> so uh, toodles.